Okay, I'm live. Get my phone on here. Hello, Valerie. Hello, Carmen. Hello. All right. Yay. Ooh, it that's worked. a pretty card. It worked. Thanks. I was going to bed last night, and then I decided I wasn't going to bed last night. <laughs> uh oh. Because <laughs> this card just kind of popped into my head. I'm getting a feedback. I wonder if that's your computer or mine. I'm not hearing anything. It's kind of like a tinny. Boop, boop. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it seems to have gone away now. So. Ah. Uh. Hi, Yvonne. Thanks for joining. So I'm using a new stamp set tonight. This one. Oh. It's available in the new catalog. Hey, Carol. Ah, uh, how are you doing? Everything is going along smoothly, I hope. What a horrible time to have a funeral or a service. Oh, wow. OK, so this stamp set, I don't usually buy stamp sets that are just <laughs> words, but I needed big ones. I don't know why. I just decided I needed big ones. So <laughs> I used it to make this card. And then <laughs> I used those um, sequins for everything. And then the retiring list came out today. And these are not retiring. So they're little individual pockets of sequins. Oh, that was neat. And they're all different colors. And I put every, all of them in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you know, it's fun to play with. Yeah, well, you know, it's a shaker card. Uh -huh. I hadn't made a full front shaker card before, have you? Pardon? No, I haven't, no. Yvonne, Carol, Valerie, have you made a full front shaker card before? When we were at on stage, um, Sarah and Shelly showed us how to do these. And I've been thinking about doing it for a while. So last night, my body decided it was time. Time to do a full front shaker card. So the whole thing is shaker card. And you do it using one of our clear envelopes and some tear and tape, which I forgot to get, but it's right here. So I will just get it now because you have to, you have to tape it shut somehow. Okay, well, you're going to learn how to make one tonight. Anybody making one along with me or are you hanging out or what are you doing? I'm working on the little making little parcels for the ornaments. <laughs> You're still working on Christmas? <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, but it's getting it's getting there. I just got to figure out the ones that have to be mailed. I try to get the parcel as small as I can. Ah, uh, yes. Yep. Okay. Well, I learned something last night when I was doing this that you can't push pull it too tight otherwise there's no room in there for the shakers to move. So I forgot to get my machine. I got to do that. Hang on. And my embossing powder and my embossing heat gun. There, we're ready to go now. 
Okay, let's make a card. So I've got Monday's mystery card already done. Ooh. I know, talk about being on the ball, eh? Okay, let me get my recipe out so I can tell you the proper sizes. Ah, Yvonne's making Christmas cards. Yeah, mine are gone. They're in the mail. I'm done Christmas. Don't want to do Christmas cards anymore. I put all my Christmas stuff away. Went through everything and took out the ones that are retiring and. Okay. I gotta make room here so I can use my mouse because I don't wanna. Oh, there's Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy. I know I'm gonna be missing comments, so I'm sorry if I do. Okay, so I'm using this stamp and this one is going to go on the front with the happy birthday. And I'm going to cut that out of this layer before we put that layer on. And then I have the stars to go all the way around. So this one is done in Granny Apple Green and I'm doing tonight's in Misty Moon, well, Granny Apple Green and Misty Moonlight. So tonight's I'm going to use Misty Moonlight um, cardstock and the ink and the Granny Apple Green. And I really want to put some red in there. So I think I want to do the stars in red. I'm going to kind of shake the colors up a bit tonight from my original one. If it doesn't work out, we'll just stamp another one, right? So everything in here should be flat because if you have any layers, you're going to be catching the sequins in the layers. And that's never a good thing. Okay, so this is going to go up towards the top because I decided after I did that, that it was too low. So I'm gonna make this one up the top and it's in Granny Apple Green. Hey! So the card that I made um, just before I went live, the one for Monday, I got it all ready and decided where I was gonna put the sentiment and I was not popping it up. I was stamping it right on the piece and I rocked it. So that kind of told me where my bling needed to go. <laughs> Okay, real red. I'm gonna put some real red. Okay, let's get my dirty paper out here so I can stamp on it in case I decide to go over, which I'm going to do right now. There we go. I'm going to add both colors in. some real red and some misty moonlight. Now I have to clean. I was so hoping to get some housework done today, but that didn't work. That's boring stuff. <laughs> well, it's not like anybody's coming to my house either. It's yeah. just family and they either like it or lump it. Yeah. Oh, this is turning into out to be a red, white and blue card. This one's for Carol. Pretty. I think that's enough. I don't want to, I don't want to over stamp it. Housework blah. Yes, I, under, I agree with you, but I've got this weird thing happening with my kitchen floor. It is so slippery and I don't know why. So I've got to get in there and clean it. Okay, step one was to stamp everything. Now we're going to put this inside the envelope like this and then you put it down 
to one side and right up against the end. And we're going to run some tear and tape along this edge, right against the very edge. Okay, now before I fold that over, I'm just going to, I mean, before I remove the, the liners, I'm going to fold it over and burnish the fold so I know where it's going. All right, Valerie, it's Friday. And how was Miss Betty today? Okay, now we take the liner off. Come on, take the liner off. Thank you. And I missed some in between there and I want to make sure I have it all the way down. So I'm just going to put another piece in there now that I've got the liner off. Because you want to make sure you have your tape all the way along. Now, this is where I pulled it really super tight and I don't want to do that this time. I want to leave a, leave a bit more room for the sequence to bounce around. So you just kind of fold that over like that. And then we're going to put the sequins in and then you fold this over like this. So I'm going to get the tape on there ready for saying perky self. Yep, that would be Betty. I had to laugh at her. The um, I did a, an evening club thing the other night Powell River people and I phoned her and I said hey we're doing this do you want to join us and she said no and I said okay then I found out it was because she was already in her jammies <laughs> <laughs> like we're going to see her jammies it's funny that one's a bit long but that's okay there so I just need a little tiny piece in here is you want to make sure you get tape all the way around. Come on. I don't want to take this thing off. I just want to be able to slip some tape in underneath there. There we go. Okay, so we're ready. The tape is ready. I'm going to cut that little bit off. There we are. Okay, now get the sequins or whatever you're putting in there, some kind of shaker material. Don't sneeze while you have these open because it won't be a pretty sight. And I just took a little bit of a spoonful of each of the colors and just slid them in here. Need some more red. It wasn't enough red. And there's all different colors in here. There. And then you just kind of see if you think that's enough. I think so. What do you think? Think that's enough? Ah, I just threw it away. It fell right out when it went back into the container. There we are. And then you would put the sequins away so they don't end up everywhere. Slip that down inside the air, that errant little one. And then I've got one sitting here. So I want to get it out of there. I don't want any in behind. Come on. See if it'll come. Maybe, maybe not. Might just have to leave it. Oh well. Oh, there's that orange one. It decided it was not going in the front. Okay, so now you have all of your shaker bits in there. We have the tapes all ready. You just have to pull the liners off. 
This isn't hard at all. I don't know why I was so intimidated by it. The hardest part is getting the liner off the tape. There we go. Okay, now we're just going to fold this over. Like that. And you kind of want to make it as low profile as you can because this is going to go on another piece of cardstock. So then I just took my bone folder and made the nice tight creases. And there we are. There's our full shaker card. It's not that hard. And I left this one a bit looser, so they're they're kind of moving a little bit better. Okay. More. Too late. I sealed it already. I should have put some snowflakes in there. Oh well. It's too late. It's sealed. I'm gonna put my garbage in the garbage. Okay. Now I have to put more tear and tape on the back because we have to put it on the cardstock on the misty moonlight. Then we're going to wrap some ribbon around it or twine. And then we'll put it on our card base. And then we'll do the sentiment. Next time, yeah, next time. <laughs> it's a good use for the clear envelopes. You know, you can mail letters in these clear envelopes. I do it all the time. Now, this is, I see that it's lifting a little bit here. It needs a, some tape. See if I can slide a piece of tape in underneath there. Put it on my scissors. Let's see if I can get the liner off of it. If not, I'll have to use something else. Come on. This is Annoying. There we are. Okay. I'll just slide it in here because if I don't get it down nice and tight, then the card's going to stick up. There we are. All right. Now we'll just put it on here. Maybe. Maybe we'll put it on here. <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh, it's stuck already, and I'm not ready. Up. It's ready. It's ready. Apparently, you gotta have to remember that the well, it's going there. It's not right. It's not right. I have to remember that the um, the clear envelope sticks out further than the white does. There we go. Burnish it to make sure it's all stuck. There we are. Okay, so now I have a piece of, what is this from? I have to find out because I forgot. Aha, some of the flowers for every season. Use a glue dot. Well, that would have been smart, Carol. Where were you when I needed that wisdom? Me and my glue dots, I've been using them a lot lately and I completely forgot about them. 
So now I've got this piece of twine and I'm gonna tie a knot in it. This is misty, misty moonlight, white and silver. Tie a knot in it. Figure out where I want it to go. Want it to sit right about there. And then you just cut this towards the edge there. Somewhere like that. Put a little bit of tear and tape on the back. Or glue dots. They would work too. Use a glue dot. That would have been the brilliant thing to do, wouldn't it? Oh well. Some days the brain just doesn't work. I was just reading um, about Virgin River. It's a show on Netflix. Uh -huh. And I'm impatiently waiting for the new season to start. It's filmed in Vancouver and Bowen Island. Oh, really? Yes. Excellent. Okay, so now I'm going to put this on my grid and make sure that I've got the, sure I have my twine lined up properly. Oh, except it's not tight. There we go, ah, that's better. Okay, now, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I didn't do the sentiment in the hole. Oh, well. We'll just get a piece of cardstock so I can do the sentiment. I was supposed to do that before I put the shaker part on. There's got to be a piece in here I can use. Add a piece of that and pretend I did it the economical way. All right, put the garbage away because I have to use my Versamart now. Okay, spoon out of the way, Versamart. And the dies. Man, I'm not doing very good. There's this cute die down here at the bottom on the ornate frames that fits this sentiment like it was made for it. Oh, cool. I did the I little corso. Know. Oh, let's have a look. Hang on, let me replace my spotlight so we can have a look. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> and the good thing is I'm using some of the crappy DSP that I have, so yay. Yay, it's always good to use up your DSP. Yeah, especially when it's the stuff I'm trying to use up that doesn't is not um, stamping up stuff. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a little bit wider. Perfect height. Doesn't move around. Yay. I was up at the post office again today. Oh my. My good lord, they I must have shares in that place now. And I walk in and the ladies all know me by name. Yeah. They have a, a trainee up there. And she's oh, a trainee. A trainee. And she yeah. said to me, my, you must know what you're doing and packing this stuff. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've done it a time or two. Because I, I had to return those extra things that I ordered. Oh, right. So I did a lot of taping and fidgeting so that I could get them to go as letter mail. Carol likes your plaid look. 
Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to use my heat gun. I will be right back. Okay, so I want it just wider. There we are. Sentiment done. Now we'll cut it out with the die. Oh, and I did that trick with my magnetic platform. You know, uh -huh. the one they discontinued, the one that looked like a bowl. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Oh, wow. Absolutely flat. Wow. So what I did was I stuck it in the sink flat yeah. and I put the, I put, um, poured boiling water over top of it and just yeah. left it there till it cooled down. Hmm. And it's flat. All three of them are flat. That's good. Uh, on mine, I just used hot water, what my hands could stand, which wasn't very hot, but, and that helped. So, but it's good to know about that. Well, I want to know, I want to use them a lot now so I can see if they're going to stay flat. Oh, yes. Because I did my clear plates and the minute I started to use them again, they mm -hmm. um, went back up. They went back to what they were. <laughs> need need a spot of tea. Oh, you know what I did to my tea tonight? I put I found some sugar-free hot chocolate. Oh. And this one is salted caramel. So Ooh. I put a little bit of that in my tea. Mm. Yummy. We had our oldest grandson came over for dinner and he had one of it's called chocolate truffle or double truffle or something. I don't know, some really chocolatey thing. Mm -hmm. And he he said, Oh crap, this is so so good it tastes like a five hundred dollar hot chocolate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't you just have to love kids? Uh I do. They're so fun. Yep. Oh, this is the one that ran out. That one's not gonna get me very far. He was over here doing wood crafting with grandpa ah. because he want they're making a nativity scene. Uh -huh. So he came over to do the the manger. Yeah. And Cameron's coming tomorrow to do the building that they're in, whatever it's called. Manger. Okay, well, oh he no, sorry. James did the cradle. Cameron's doing the manger. Now I'm just putting this on my white card base because with all that color in there, it needs to, to be grounded onto white. Woohoo! That was not smart. Oh, set my computer flying. Oh, I'll do that. Yeah, you're not kidding, especially since it's my new one. <laughs> okay, now we'll put the sentiment on and then we're done. And look at that, it's only 
Okay, Valerie, did you ever, did Valerie, did you say whether you're just hanging out or if you're crafting? I don't remember. Uh oh. That loosened my ribbon. That's not a good thing. It's fun, Valerie. It's fun to do this. I'm excited. Something, I like learning new stuff. Okay, now we just have to hang and, oh, hang and put, hang and out. Thanks, Dorothy. Okay, I'm gonna stick some stars on the inside. And I think I'm going to clean my stamp and make them green. Well, just about done. Has anybody got, oh, I could to show you how to mount a stamp set because I got a new one I haven't mounted yet. Put the stickers on it. Oop, I think this needs to be inked. There we are, now the envelope. Oh, I know what we can do. We can go through the, oops, see, I pushed too hard. We can go through the catalog and see what's leaving us. Put my name on the back. Valerie, should I sponge or not sponge? Got the inside piece to do. To sponge or not to sponge? That is the question. Okay, I need to know sponge, yes or no? Of course, sponge. What color? Blue, think. What do you think? Misty Moonlight? What's the front of the car? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. I can't do red. There's already too much red in it. <laughs> you know me in red when it's not a Christmas card. Green. Yvonne says green and Valerie says green. Okay, then. I'm going over this with Winky. Now it's not going to stick to the embossing, but it'll go down inside the holes because this isn't a solid stamp. It's got holes in it. It's going to go in the holes and stay there. So apparently I'm sponging in green. Okay. Two greens and a blue. Oh, Valerie's misty. Now we got two blues and two <laughs> greens. Okay, who else wants to say what color? What is this? I don't know. Oh, it's a pen. Where'd I get that pen? <laughs> Bazaar, it is bazaar. Mm. Okay, three greens and a misty. Okay, green, green one. 
I already have green. I know I already have green. Dorothy says Misty. Okay, Misty's winning now. I'm doing it in Misty. Misty Moonlight, here we are. Too late now. Oh, did anybody hear what the COVID numbers were today? No, I didn't even. I didn't even think about it at three o'clock. Oh, I was at the post office at three. That's why I was. <laughs> I was standing outside freezing to death at the post office. You <laughs> fine. Be that way, Valerie says. Yep. I am. I have control. This is not the this or that card. Is the post office at Shoppers open during the weekend? Well, I know it's so definitely on Saturdays because I've been there before on a Saturday. Okay. The best part about going there is even though you have to wait in line, it's inside. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> warm yes because it was so cold T today wasn't as cold as the last one uh warm in powell of course because you guys live in a climate unto your own over there it's like there's this little patch above powell river that's all warm and sunny And the west of us freeze. Okay. Did I manage that one? <laughs> yes, I did. I did sponge. That must get me some brownie points of some sort or other, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. I'm going to clean my stamps put them away and then I'll get my oh oh yes I'll get my catalog I was going to say I can't show you the inside the catalog but it's not the new one I'm showing you it's the old one because I got my highlighters out this morning was it warm in Nanaimo nice It wasn't here. It was foggy and cold and bitter all day. Thanks, Yvonne. I'm glad you like it. It's a fun card. Mm -hmm. It's cute. And they're not that hard. Like you could whip up a whole whack of them in a, in a day and have multiple cards to send out. And you could use any kind, any stamp set, and you could use any sentiment to make it for it. Yes, Carol, the discontinued list came out this morning. The discontinued and the carrying over and the hibernating list are all there waiting. Haven't had a chance to put it on my Facebook page yet, but I'm going to. Didn't need to wear, Valerie didn't have to wear her jacket. Oh my God, if I hadn't had my jacket on today, I would be a little frozen snowman out there somewhere. I am um, outside working with just a sweatshirt on, a light sweatshirt on her for a little bit. Today? Yeah. Oh my God, not me. Just not very long. I was out there. Not me. You would not catch me without my coat on today. It was freezing. Okay, catalog. Coming. We'll just move these cards out of the way. 
And here it is. The soon to be leaving catalog. Yeah, that Carol, this time, I'm so happy that they actually put it out in Excel format so we could take it and sort it and do what we wanted with it. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Okay, this tape has given me an issue. Pardon me? This tape was giving me an issue. Oh, Terry sent me the COVID numbers. No, that was from two days ago, Terry. That's December the 2nd. Yeah, that's two days old. Because yesterday we only had 10. So I'm hoping on the island, I'm hoping we have less today. Nice. Rain pants and a loose holy sweater. Oh, holy moly, Valerie. I had my winter coat on and my fuzzy shirt and another layer and thick wool socks. And then I put the heat and my heated seat on in my car. Okay, here we go. What's retiring in the catalog? Well, all the kits are going. So the, the kit to make the photo cards, I should have my list out here. And so I can tell you some of the, a lot of this stuff is on sale too. Like there's lots of things that have percentages off. So, Joy of sharing is 30% off. So this one is 30% off. The tag buffet one is 50% off. The Christmas countdown project is 50% off. The tag buffet photopolymer stamp is leaving, but it's not on sale. This one. The most wonderful time product medley, the refill and the pro the thing itself, they're both on 20% off right now. And of course, this stuff's all while supplies last. Heartwarming hugs is the None of the sweets are on sale, but a lot of the pieces in the suite are on sale. So heartwarming hugs designer paper is hibernating. Can't see because there's a glare on there. Let me move my light a bit there. There, that's better. So if it, you see a H, that means it's hibernating until next next. Um, June to uh, to December holiday catalog. So it's hibernating till June. Oh, Carol, I just had a customer order four of them. I know it's tough when these kits are, or the lists are supposed to be coming out. Okay, so a heartwarming hugs, all of this stuff is going. They're keeping the coffee cups, but the carrier is going. I should be, I should have written on here what percentage these things are off because I can't keep an eye on it. 50%. Okay. Wow. 50% off of, I'll do it this way. I'll put, my ruler on there. The embossing folders are 50% off. The braided linen trim is 50% off. The glitter stars are 50% off. I got those. Hang on. I got them and then I never used them. I got a whole container of them. Oh here. my God, those are gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, I had every intention of doing a card with a hole in the middle and have this hanging in the hole. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that never that happened. That would be beautiful. But you can get them at 50% off now. 
they are five dollars and fifty cents. Okay, the diagonal stripe ribbons on fifty percent off. The mini coffee carriers are on sale. The bundles not, and the stamp sets not. Okay, let's just put these away. In the corner here. Heartwarming hugs bundle is not on sale, but the stamp set is going, but the dies are not. So that leads me to believe that there will be another matching stamp set in mm -hmm. the annual catalog. Because it's not being hibernated, it's being brought forward to the annual catalog. And wrapped in Christmas is going. Uh, January the 8th, Dorothy. Or not January the 8th, December the 8th. Um, gift wrapped bundle is going. The stamp set and the punch are going. Now, the bundle is not on sale, but the punch is 20% off. So instead of ordering the bundle, if you want this before it disappears, then you order the stamp set and the punch because it actually works out to be five cents cheaper. I know it's not a lot, but it's five cents. Hey, that's right. <laughs> okay, the Dove of Hope bundle is going. The dies are on 10% off right now. And it's not enough to make it cheaper than the bundle. So order yeah. the bundle. It's $2.50. No, three dollars cheaper ordering the bundle. Now point set up stuff. Oh my, oh my. So the paper's going, and it's on thirty percent off. The plush point set of paper's going, and it's on fifty percent off. So seven dollars and fifty cents right now for that. And the beaded pearls. What are we going to do without beaded pearls? Yeah, like that. They're gorgeous. And they're on 50% off right now. So $5.50 per package of them. The sheer red ribbon is hibernating until next Christmas. Okay. Point set up petals bundle is retired. The bundle is retiring, so no longer get the bundle price. The stamp set and the dies are going forward to next year's annual catalog, but they won't be um, bundled anymore. They'll be unbundled. The nativity, peaceful nativity, all of this is retiring. The dies are on sale at 50% off. So if you buy the dies and the stamp set separately, you're going to save $12.50 over buying the bundle. So it comes to $46 buying these two individually. Yeah. Like, I'm going to remind you to do something for Dave for next year. Do it now and put it away. Then put yourself a little note in next December's calendar and say, Dave's gift. Yeah, I'm not going to remember, but I'll try. <laughs> yes, Carol, the million dollar sellers will be snapping things up. Once this that list goes live, the retiring list, things go fly off the off the counters right fast. Okay, peace, love and joy or peace and joy bundle is all retiring. And the dies are on 30% off. So the dies and the stamp set separately are cheaper than buying the bundle. Then there's the Christmas gleaming variety stuff. 
This stuff was left over from last year. And the punches are on sale 50% off. 20, 40, 50, yes. So if you buy the punches, the stamp set and the paper individually, it's cheaper by $23.50 than buying the bundle. You can be organized, Valerie. Fireside. Trimming. All right. Get my get the ruler here so I can read it. Okay, fireside trimming. The whole thing is retiring. The dies are 30% off right now. So if you buy the dies and the stamp set separately, you're going to save $7.15 over buying the bundle. Sweetest time is all retiring and the dies are on sale 30% off. So buying the dies and the stamp set separately, you'll save almost $10 over buying the, the bundle. And good news, the mini machine will be available in January when the new catalog is. Okay, Triangle is retiring and it's on sale 20% off the stamp set. Don't Stop Believing is retiring. And Gnome for the Holidays is retiring. I'm so upset. Those gnomes were so much fun to play with. Yeah, they were. Okay, trim in the town, trim in the town. Everything is retiring. The ribbon is on 50% off. The embellishments are 50% off. The designer paper is 10% off. And the coming home bundle If you, the dies are on 30% off. So once again, if you buy the dies and the stamp set, then you're going to save almost $7 over ordering the bundle. Just for the Volkswagen. <laughs> it's a pretty cute Volkswagen. I agree with you. One of my friends had one of those when we were kids in high school. We used to bop all over the place in that little blue thing. And the moose is finally retiring. Goodbye, Mr. Moosey. Hi. It's none of it is on sale though. So if you haven't got it yet and you want it, bundle price. Look at the VW. I did look at the VW. Am I missing something? The bug, the bug, it's a cute bug. Mm -hmm. Hey, we did the moose, burn the page. Hey, Yuletide Pasture is on its way out. Jingle Bells are on their way out and they're 50% off right now. So $3.38 instead of $6.75. Christmas means more is going and the adhesive back snowflakes are going and they're on 50% off. Well, not right now. I have to stop saying right now. <laughs> they will be on sale starting the 8th of January for $4.13. And the festive felt sheet combo pack stuff is on 50% off too. Uh, wonder of the season is all going. 
except for the wonderful gems they're hibernating. But the memories are more cards and envelopes. Those are the ones that have the red foil on them. They're on 30% off. The memories and more card pack are 50% off. The ribbon is 50% off. The Tis the Season designer paper is 20% off. And Wonder of the Season, the one that has the green and gold foil in it is 50% off. Um, it's Carol. It's in it, when you log in, you know, they have those big ads going across the the um, top before you get down to the current updates and the rewards. Just click on the the header there that says last chance list or something. That's where they are. And if you can't find it, let me know and I'll I will email you the the one I did. Okay, wishes and wonder bundle. Everything is going. The dies are on sale 30% off. So buying the, the dies and the stamp set separately is cheaper than buying the bundle. And if this one wasn't retiring, I was going to get this one because it's so pretty, but it's done. It's over. I'm not getting it now. Save me some money. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Cherish the season is going which is too bad because I was really enjoying all those bells. Yes. The dies are on sale 20% off. And you can use those dies without the stamp set. Mm -hmm. So if you buy the, the dies and the stamp set separately, it's 30 cents cheaper than buying the bundle. So either way, but yeah. if you want just the dies, they are on sale 20% off. Or they will be on sale. Joyful Holly is going. 12 Tidings Designer Paper is going and it's on 30% off. The um, For Unto Us is hibernating. Green, the Evergreen Forest Embossing Folder. Of course, I don't have it where you guys can see it. It's going into the annual catalog. Huh, that's a pretty cool set. Never even looked at that one. Next year. Okay, <laughs> snowflakes. Turn my page here so I can follow along. The snowflakes. The winter snow embossing folder is 50% off. 15 or 50? Five zero. Wow. The snowflake spender ribbon, that's that one that's holographic. Beautiful. It's on 50% off. 50 again, wow. Balmy blue glimmer paper, $3.38. What a bargoon that is. 50% yeah. off. And the snowflake splendor that is, oh, so pretty is 20% off. The good news is the bundle is retired. The bundle pricing is retiring, but these, the bun, the dies and the stamp set are going to be in the annual catalog. Cool. Yeah, I can't wait to see what they're using, what paper they come out for them next year. Yeah. Okay, Snow Wonder, the bundle pricing is retiring, but the dies and the stamp set are going to hibernate till next Christmas. So if this appeals to you, buy it now, <laughs> buy it now, get 10% off. Otherwise, you won't get the bundle pricing next year. That's one I never got. I never used any snowman this year. I was going to get last year's snowman out because he was still active and I never did. 
I was too into snowflakes and poinsettias this year. <laughs> okay, the envelope dies are 40% off. So buying the stamp set and the dies are is cheaper than the bundle price. The Light Me Home is going. The card display is staying. I'm seriously considering getting some of those to replace that stuff on the front of my pop cupboards there where I display all my big square things. Mm -hmm. Aww, how can they not notice curly hair on Valerie? Come on, that's different. Warm and toasty's leaving. Bye-bye, warm and toasty. It's cute. It's another cute one I never had time to yeah. get. Feels like Frost is going and it's 50% off right now. So $10 for the package instead of 20. In the Pines bundle. Sorry, Valerie, your bundle's going. I'll always think of this as Valerie's bundle. <laughs> Pinewood dies are 30% off. So the dies and the stamp set individually is cheaper than the bundle by almost $7. Okay. Yes, you have it and your dies are coming. I was supposed to get four orders today. I got none. <laughs> which upsets me because my expedited order didn't come, but FedEx delivers on Saturday. So there's hope that I'll yeah. get it tomorrow. Okay. So the, the Gildan Autumn Suite is going. The basket weave um, and metallic ribbon is 50% off. The acorn trinkets are 50% off. The designer paper's retiring, but not on sale. The brush metallic cardstock will be hibernating till next year. Beautiful paper. It's gorgeous. Might just have to buy some of that because even though it's hibernating, I could still use it, right? Who's gonna yeah. know? Okay, beautiful autumn is leaving. I'm sad about this one because I really enjoyed working with this one. It was a pretty set. The, the punches are 20% off. So the punch and the stamp set individually is cheaper than the bundle by almost $3. And the gathered together is leaving. This is one that came from last year. Oh, excuse me. The dies are 50% off, so much cheaper buying those individually than in a bundle. Pasties are super busy. <laughs> okay, Valerie, I, I'm hoping there's a typo in there somewhere. Uh, and if it's not, then you'll have to tell us why your pasties are super busy. <laughs> okay, Autumn, goodness is going. The dies with the wheelbarrow and the fence are on sale 30% off, so cheaper to buy individually than in a bundle. Love of Leaves is staying, but the bundle is retiring, so you'll be able to get it in the annual catalog, but you won't get the 20% or the 10% off anymore after the 4th of January. Autumn Greetings is retiring. The dies are 40% off. Cheaper to buy dies and stamp sets separately. Save almost $10. Life is beautiful. That I'm sad about that one going because I just got it and I've been having oh posties. <laughs> oh. 
Okay. Yes, the posties are definitely busy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, funny. Okay. That makes me a little less sad because my favorite stamp set is going. But that's okay. The gold cards and envelopes are going. I never got those either. Hey, next is Halloween. And the cobweb embossing folders 30% off. The iridescent pearls are 50% off. $5.13 for those babies. The designer paper is 40% off. That beautiful metallic mesh ribbon. That's going to be in the annual catalog. And that's exciting because it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I don't think I used it in a class at all, did I? I don't think so. I did a couple of cards with it, but I never used it in a class. Because I was hoarding it. I didn't want to share my share. <laughs> <laughs> now we know. <laughs> yep, now <laughs> you know. Okay. The Hallow's Night Magic Bundle, everything is retiring. And the dies are on 30% off. So it's cheaper to buy stamp set and dies separately. Turn the page. Rectangle tins are retiring. They're 30% off. The ghoulish goodies is retiring. Plaid tidings suite is retiring. The embroidered ribbon is 50% off. The designer paper is leaving, but not on sale. There's some good prices on stuff in there. Yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. The celebration tidings bundle and the pieces are going. The dies are on sale for 50% off. So much cheaper to buy stamp set than the dies. And you don't need the stamp set to use the dies. The only thing you can't use in the stamp set is the spy or in the dies is the spider and you just don't have the detail of the spider stamp. Yeah, but your hair is gorgeous, Valerie. It may be straight, it may be thin but it's, I love the color and you have hair. I have no hair. Okay, Fight of Flancy, Flight of Flancy, Flight of Fancy is going. Turnovers. Okay, this one never even entered my radar. No. It's got a bad in it, a lovely bow. Anyways, it's going and it's 20% off. The gusseted cellophane, cellophane bags are 20% off. Those would be good to get for Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Okay, everything essential. Some of it is retiring. The bundle is retiring. The stamp set is retiring but the punch is not retiring. And then we have, have a hoot. Have a hoot is retiring, everything. The dies are on sale, 40% off. So save over $10 buying them individually versus buying the bundle right now, or starting January the 8th. Nope, December the 8th. Hello, <laughs> getting late. Yep. Festive post is retiring. The red velvet paper is hibernating. Ooh. Yay. Yay, yes. I was hoping they would do that or else put it in the cat regular catalog. 
Yes, because they kept the poinsettias, so I'm glad they kept the paper too. Yes. You thought about that set, this set, the festive post set, or the have a hoot set, Valerie? Okay, lots to celebrate. Stamp set is retiring. The snowflake sequins will be on 50% off. Festive corners. Oh, the banner year will be in the annual catalog and the banners pick a punch will be in the annual catalog. Tag set. Ah, yes, the tag set. It's cute. Festive Corners is retiring. The sequins that I used tonight, they'll be in the annual catalog. Look at them in this Valentine's shaker card. So oh, neat. Isn't that cool? Mm hmm. Very pretty. Okay. Menagerie Mix Up is retiring. The dyes are on sale 40% off. So much cheaper by almost $12 to buy the stamp set of the dyes separately. And look at this, there's that. There's your dyes, Valerie, the have a hoot dyes. That's cute. All right, turning the page, we're almost done. The round tins are retiring and they're on 30% off. The press on stamp set is retiring. And a bazillion sequins. Yeah, me too. And I'm going to start using mine. Look, freezing fun, freezing fun bundle is leaving. Can you imagine we're losing freezing fun? The dies are on 30% off. So cheaper to buy the dies and the stamp set separately. I think that's one of the stamp sets I'm going to keep because I really like it. I think it's cute. Mm. It is a cute set. And the little treats bundle is leaving. The little treat box dies are on sale 30% off. Let me show you what I made out of them. Oh. Look. Oh, oh, that's these ones. Yes. So these ones were are for Powell River if we ever get to be together and do our snowflake and poinsettia class. I had them. I had them all ready to go with tea and chocolate in them, but that's what the box looks like. It's perfect size to put a tea bag or Giro Deli chocolate. You can even get the um, Hershey nuggets in there. So it's going and it's on sale, and the stamp set is going. I never did get the stamp set, but I'm definitely going to keep the dies because I like the size of the box. Yeah, that's cute. That's it, except for the hostess stamp set. And it's not on the list, but I can't imagine that they're keeping it. So this one, a merry hello. It'll be retiring. They always retire the hostess stuff. Yeah. And it could be on the list now. They might have amended it. It's just it wasn't on it when I downloaded the list. So there we go. That's all the stuff that's retiring. I'm losing 11 bundles, which isn't bad. I thought I'd lose more, but I'm glad that I get to keep my two favorite ones, the snowflakes and the poinsettias. Can do more with those next year, yay. So there we go, we made a card. We did a walk through of what's retiring in the catalog. We had some fun. 
Yeah, I'm glad you went through the catalog. I because I was wanting to write the stuff in there and I haven't done it yet. So uh -huh. I still have to go through because I missed some of the first few pages before I went, oh, go get your catalog. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to go through with my pen now and write the ones that are on sale because I should have done that and I didn't do that. Yeah. Yeah, and I missed some too while you were saying they were on sale because I was busy doing something else. <laughs> Well, I'm something. going to I'm going to post the the list in the file section. Is there a file section of my Facebook page? I'm not sure. I don't know, but I got I well I I printed it all off from when you I shared it in our group e emailed. Oh yes, I did email, didn't I? I don't have to put oh well I do because some people on my Facebook page, don't get my emails, but you can, uh -huh. you can get my emails. I'm going to go and see if I can figure out if there's a file section. But first of all, I have to go there. Or, nope. Nope. Okay, so I'll have to put pictures. I'll put pictures in there because I can't get a PDF up. But I should be able to do it in my in my VIP group. So if you're part of my VIP group, I should be able to put them in there. Mm -hmm. Unless maybe I did already. No. Let's see. Yes, I can put it in. So I'll upload it to my VIP group. So it will be there under the files if you need it. Oh, Carol. Hang on. Let me, let me, let me. Let me go here and Carol, Carol Smith. Hang on, Carol. I'll have to go through my 40,000 things I've got open on my computer here. And go here. That's not what I didn't want to open it, though. Okay, I want to, I'm going to send it to you as soon as I find it as a file, not as itself. Nope, that's not what I want. That's next year's catalog. That's not going to do. Holiday. Okay, Carol, got you open. I found it. Year in closeout sale. Okay, I sent it to you, Carol. It's in Excel. If Excel doesn't work for you, let me know. I can send you a PDF instead, but that has that has the the closeout sale sorted by alphabetical and by page number, and the carryover list and the hibernating list is all in that one file. Okay, ladies. Thank you very much. This was You're great. Welcome. Anybody got any other questions? Otherwise, I'll say goodbye and I'll be back on Monday morning at 10 o'clock with the mystery card. I have it, I have it already done. I'm gonna show it to you. I'll show you the back of it. Look, it's gonna be early espresso and vanilla. <laughs> and it uses a new stamp set. 
I'll post the uh, I'll post the um the recipe either tomorrow or Sunday so that you can play along with me. And I hope you have a warm weekend. I'm going yeah, to that would be nice. <laughs> Okay, so thanks over there in Facebook world. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to stop the live stream and I will see you on Monday morning at 10 o'clock Pacific time. And Carol will be thinking about you this weekend. Sending you big hugs. Stamp and smiles. Bye for now, everyone. Bye. Oh. <laughs>